That's why I think we move from a world where we're working with technology to the technology working for us. And today it's front and center and we talk about how we're using AI, but the power of AI is these models learn, right? And they start to do things autonomously yeah. on your behalf. So you don't even have to do it. So you go do new things. And the last thing I'd say is this is, this is factual. Technology enables change. Mm -hmm. That's all it does. It enables change. To drive change, it still takes people, no matter what. Well put. People are going to be involved with AI. They have to implement it. They have to embrace it. They have to p teach people how to use it, and they have to teach people new skills. Technology only enables change. It doesn't drive. It still takes humans. So this is one of the ironic things. I completely agree with the point, and, and maybe a different way to frame it. One of the ironic things, ironic things about this agentic economy, agency is the thing that is uniquely human, right? Yeah. The ability to determine what is it that I want to achieve here. That is still a uniquely human thing. You can dispatch an AI agent to go reason through the steps and figure out how to get there. But deciding what question should I ask? What is the objective? You know, that's still a uniquely human thing. I think another framework would be, you know, Google sort of commoditized knowledge. OpenAI is sort of commoditizing intelligence. Agency is the thing on top. You yeah. know, intelligence is making use of that knowledge. Agency is determining to what end. Yeah. And that's the thing that is still uniquely human. And I think the argument in favor of AI is it gives you superpowers to go do that.